Hey YouTube, sorry it's been a while between tutorials, um, but you know, it's been a little bit hard to do things. Uh, we are shooting today with the amazing Mika. Hi. I'm pretty sure we've got a live stream with her if you want to go and see that. But today what we are going to do is show you a behind the scenes of the music videos that Peter uh, has been doing a lot of. We've also just finished filming for Inspire, so that will be up there soon. Typical plug sales lady. Um, and yeah, I think that's all. I'll throw it over to Peter. Oh, that's it. Really oh, short and quick. I don't no, know. Right. Oh, no, I'm all like, I know. Well, then I'm not going to have anything to say at the end. All right. Well, like, okay, yes, okay, fine. No, I'm going to put links to everything down the bottom. It'll have all of Mika's stuff down the bottom. Let's see the wobbly head she does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what else to say. I thought that was all that we're doing. Right, that's cool. Okay. Peter will explain things better than I do. Thank you. I thought you did all right. Oh. It's sort of, you've been locked down for a bit. So yeah. I understand that you're not... I'm a bit rusty. You're a bit rusty. She's going to be more rusty in a week or so. She's going to get rusty hair. No, that's not for another month. That's not for another month? No. That's that one. So today I'm lucky enough to be playing with a new camera. And I know there's a fair bit of hype around this one. We're on 4K, yeah, cool. So I'm just getting my exposure. Yeah, this is a new Sony AS3. I can't believe I've got it already, but this is cool. So we're we just gonna do what I do for my music videos. And with this, we would normally have music playing loud, but we can't because this is gonna be a YouTube. So we're just gonna do it without the music. And I'm just up to me now to work around Mika. I'm shooting with a 25, which I think is fine. Yeah, so 25 allows me that's pretty much getting the whole scene. So it gives me a bit of room to move around Mika without being right in the face, but I can still come in and do headshots. So when I'm in there, that's a headshot. Cool. And as always, I will leave all of the gear listed down in the description as well. You'll list all the gear? Yes. So even what I'm recording on and what Peter's recording on, that is all down in the descriptions. Cool, all right. So. I'm just going to zoom in, zoom out around you, work into the camera, then work away from it. I'll leave that to your discretion, all right? All right, cool. I'm recording now. Cool. Edgy, grungy. Yeah, edgy and eyes. So do your pose and finish it with the eyes. That's cool. That's really cool. That's cool. Just hold it and I'll just do a bit of a zoom in around you. That's it. Give me some eyes there. Cool. Cool. Nice. Nice. Follow those eyes. That's pretty. Cool. Cool. Work in. That's it. Cool. Nice. Nice. I'm going to come in from this angle. As I come in, I want you to lean into that camera like that. I'm going to go shoot past you. Ready? Cool. Cool. That's cool. That's awesome. That's awesome. Cool, eyes here, really pretty. That's really pretty. Nice, nice. Cool, yeah, nice. Cool, cool, I like that, I like that. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Work in, that's cool. Click, 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 photo shoot, click, click. Strong, powerful, cool. Nice, that's it. So nearly the camera needs to become a person. Give it some attitude, work to it. Give it some, like, yeah. Cool. That's cool. Nice, that's really cool. It's a lot different to photo shoots, isn't it? Hold that. So get back to where you were. I'm just going to cool. Cool. Nice. Gonna do that again. 
that you can do wherever you like. Cool. Really cool. That's nice. Just work that. That's cool. I like that lots. Nice, 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 nice. That's really pretty. There, that's much better. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm just going to do, I think we've got enough, but I'm going to do a little extra. So I've got to try and do it one handed though. Oh. Oh. Well, that looks fancy. <laughs> Oh, you want to blow your own hair? Yeah, well, you can do that. That'll make a nice video. All right, so it's just a... Yeah. That's cool. Do you want me to take maybe the nozzle off so you can... Is that going to work better? Yeah, cool. I'm not crazy. Much. All right, so... Let's... So I want to get it so I can't see that. Cool. That's it, Nay. Nay, yeah. Can, yeah. You need to point it at yourself. <laughs> cool. Work it. Nice. That's cool. That's really cool. Except I'm going to have to hold it, I think, because I want to go further down and you're, it's in the way. There we go. Ready? Mm -hmm. something yay that's about all the time it takes me to do one of these videos I don't spend it's ages not like on heaps it. of footage because I'm only going to cut this into like a 30 second or a 45 second thing so once I've done my videoing the next thing I do is I'll write some music which I feel suits the type of edit and the type of filming that I've done and sometimes it takes three or four goes but other times it just falls together. Because I've been a musician for since I was about 10, um, I've been writing for a long time. I was in commercial bands, all other crap, but I have thousands of loops from recordings and things like that. Plus there's sites where you can grab loops and then I write stuff as well straight into these programs. I just use Logic X to write in. What I'm normally looking at is putting some transitions in the song so I can change the moods or have sort of build up some fallout. So I've just got this bottom track is just a hi-hat track. I've got my intro type of area here. Then there's a transition. You'll see each of these areas are sort of a transitions which I can do changes at. And to give you an idea, if I just sort of put a little bit of this part on. So you'll see this will build up to a change. So by that I can have the sort of go from one mood to another and if I come to this next sort of area it'll go from this sort of transition to a different one. And then soften it down a little bit. So yeah, that's just a matter of putting all this together. I write it and record it 
then I will go into Final Cut Pro and I'll just give you a for instance how I would put this together. So there's all my clips and sounds. And what I normally do is just I'll start with my very first clip and I just drag it straight onto the timeline. I don't need the volume of sound on this, so I normally just get rid of the audio, not use this. And I'll look for my starting segment in and I just sort of watch along through bits of the clips to look for things I like which would might make a nice lead into the song I think I, if we I'll just I think I do zoom in when she was somewhere like that uh, yeah that sort of thing so I might pick my frame and I might start there and once I've got my first frame or what I think is going to be my first frame I will then lead into this with the music. So I'll drop my music track into this. Go to, that's what I want. So I can just drop my music track into this and then I can just see how this now sits with the music. Right, and I might decide that's a spot that I liked to finish on on that beat I'll just I normally zoom in a bit so I can really get on the beat so I can now see my beats um, so there's a, a clap there so that's where I'll have my edit come I'll then look for my next frame that I like or in there see I quite like that there and this is the one thing I love about Final Cut Pro. The magnetic timeline means it just keeps moving stuff up for me. And I find it really quick to edit this way. Now I can see how that just snapped on that. And that next one, like that. That clap there is a nice next area to, for me to exit out of. Let's move that out of the way a minute. So... Let's just try it there, and then I will look for my next nice bit. Oh, there. Those eyes are nice. Grab, come that, and just. Oops, that's on. Wrong beat. Get that onto that beat. So that next clap there is another good. Uh, area out and one of the nice things with this program if I just decide that see how her eyes are just closing there so it's maybe I'd rather finish maybe with her eyes a little bit stronger like that I can literally just scroll this track to get those eyes where I want them say there so now I can come in with nice eyes and still finish on nice eyes so I can really fine-tune each of these areas I pretty much just go through and do the whole song like that I did have a couple of little problems that I didn't see while we we're filming and there's a perfect frame to show you we because these pants were so big on Mika we taped the back of the pants with some tape so I'll quickly show you how I remove that if I now jump back to this is the clip and I've got a black and white layer turned on there if I just hide that for now so you can see the color if we come along we'll see you'll see in here if I hide this clip see how I've got this little lasso sitting above her there what that is, that lasso is taking this area here and replacing it over this area here. So this is it's a little bit time consuming, but you'll see if you ignore the lasso because that's it isn't in the original clip, but you can see that lump that's sticking off the back of the jeans. But I can track the movement and then replace that with where I've moved that lasso. So now if I turn this on, you'll see the lasso is removing that lump for me. And if I come off that clip, there we go. So that, so things like that, if I'd noticed it on the day when I was shooting, I would have removed, or we would have done a different way of getting that. And again, we had the same here. This was only a tiny bit showing. But you'll see anywhere that's raised up above, if I V that out, you'll see, see the big lump sitting behind her. And 
just by putting that in there you can see it's now gone and click down here and there's no sign of it so little things like that is what I had to do just to clean this up most of this is fairly clean there there's a couple of little transitions I just wanted these to run a bit smoother so they're just fade transitions but I didn't really use anything in effects effects at all in this image the only other thing I did do is um, the color looks great but I prefer black and white so in here uh, this is like an adjustment layer I can put it over the top of the picture and once I turn this on you'll see I've added grain in my adjustment on there if I come up to that you'll see while I'm clicking on that I have a, a film convert pro putting over the top so with this I've used some um, TMX 100 film emulsion with some grain to get the sort of look that I wanted within this movie with this it's pretty much then all finished now I, there is i'll put a link to the full finish clip in the description below so you can actually go and see the final one i won't just add it on to this again Whoa. comments how are you going to double gimbal are oh, you making me nervous i'm double gimbling double gimbling it's like double rainbow <laughs> you're going to go down sit with me you can I'll finish go stand this off over me, so we hope you, you guys enjoy sit down? i can sit down yeah. i can sit down i don't want to crush my microphone though so we hope that you enjoyed this behind the scenes of how Peter makes Do you notice she gets a baby voice on? Did it's my presenting that? voice. Your presenting <laughs> voice. Um, so so yeah, how's the... lockdown been treating you? Oh, it's so much fun. I just love it so much. It's fantastic. I love being stuck in a house. And Mika, are you enjoying <laughs> lockdown? Yeah, I'm doing as much as I can in the time, trying to stay active. You know. <laughs> I love how Mika's genuine and I'm just like so sarcastic. <laughs> like, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Uh, but these two are amazing and I really enjoy shooting with them. They're absolutely incredible and the photos that it comes out with is incredible as well. So I'm very grateful to be here and they're amazing. Yeah, it's the cutest cool. thing ever. It's I cutest. will have links to Mika's Instagram and is that, is that all you have? Instagram? Instagram. Yeah, yes. we'll have a link to Mika's Instagram down in the description. All the gear will be linked down there. We'll have a link to the video once that's posted. Um, yep. Inspire will be there. There's a full in-depth Inspire with a shoot with Mika as well. And I think that is all I needed to cover. Bye! <laughs> Cute. There you go. I did that, all of that without a wine as well.